Hi all, I wanted to talk with you about there is no such thing as a perfect smile. So, what it is is that uh, some people could be judgmental, judgmental on themselves, saying that I haven't got a, a perfect smile or. My teeth are a bit gangly, or I ain't got good teeth, I ain't got good lips, so I make my lips a bit, be, bit bigger, a bit better. I want, I want black black person's, black man's lips, black woman's lips. My lips are too small, my nose is too big, my nose, my nose is too, sh my nose is too small, my nose is bent, bent to here, bent to here, you know, like this sort of thing. So um, all my eyebrows are not good, so I just go and get them plucked. My eyelashes are not good. My skin is not good. What else? My hair isn't perfectly trimmed. I'm going bald. I'm. I need more hair. I. I need less hair, I need no hair at all. My ears are a bit dangly. My my ears are a bit cocked off. A bit too um that type of thing. So some some somebody's going to find something to criticize about their by their face. It's a case of just Find your identity in, in, in Christ, in God, mainly in Jesus. But with that, you know, me personally, I know I know I had a I had a hair treatment. I had a hair treatment uh I think it was already part of this year, January. So I, I did that because I was just personally wasn't comfortable with with how I, I I just wasn't comfortable I just wasn't comfortable in 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 myself personally but I know I haven't got the most best beard so I wouldn't go I'm not going to go that far so it's a case of just being comfortable in your own skin and being ex being able to accept your 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 body as it is or however you you deem acceptable but saying that there there are people that go go overboard and go a lot further than they need to be or need or, or want to in going going under the knife on going under the knife on a regular basis like every week every month want to criti criticize something about their body but then you have to get to a point where you've got to be satisfied and that's when with that and it's the same way about having a having a having a good smile because there is no such thing as a perfect smile anyway i mean if you criticize if you if you say somebody doesn't have a good doesn't have a good smile or we can eat we can we can easily think that in our minds we're not communicating it verbally <coughs> but what it is is that when we if some people can have not a good smile because of their their because of an accident or a, tra a tragic accident like ended up in, in, they used to have a good smile before but now they ended up being in the wheelchair and so their 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 smile has become a bit more a bit more a bit more not able not not don't have that same ability like it used to <coughs> or you could even say not have that 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 natural look that it used to but every you know when you when you when you tell someone that they haven't got a good smile you're basically robbing them of their you're robbing robbing them of their identity of their identity in such a way that you know a smile is 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 is, is what you are and who you are it, your smile reveals a lot about you and not not just not 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 just about the opposite person that you that they that they're smiling towards but it reveals about about it, re it reveals a lot about their character and their conduct in a good way but some people might take that in a bad way so with a smile you, you it, it 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 communicates a lot because with with the with the 
with I mean I I do know that when you are when when we're when we're when some people are in a wheelchair their their smile can be a little bit different. And that only and, and we can't really be judging because of because because they're in a wheelchair and because they have their smile is a bit I suppose you can call it well, I don't really wanna call it um I don't really want to call it impaired because it's not really nice to be saying that their, their smile is impaired because that's part of their identity. But if their 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 smile is a lot different than 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 a walking person, but even but even saying that you know no there is no there is no right or wrong way of of a smile. Every every smile is different and unique to that individual, so you can't segregate it and say oh that this this person smiles better than you or that person smiles better than the ne the person next to you or behind you or in front of you or whatever direction you want to call it every every smile is not is not exactly the same and it's and it's very unique to that person's character and it's very unique to that person because every every individual or every human being is different so we can't just say that because you have a disability or because you you your smile looks out of the ordinary doesn't mean that we should be judging them because doesn't mean that we, we, we're meant to be judging them and i think i might have just said call someone by a by a by a i just called i call i think i just called the word disabled basically um but because because yeah sorry about that if i have said that to insult anyone but if but just because your 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 smile is a lot different than anybody else's, or unique to you, or not, or you, or you've never seen, or you or you've never seen someone smile smile like that before, we can't go around and say that you know, because that person's smile is completely different to the norm. We should be judging it. In where in actual fact we should embrace it as anything else. So. You know, before before we go go before we go around, and and especially especially the media, and what we see in the magazines, and although people don't comment about models smiles or presenters that smile in the magazines, and before we go before we go and start criticizing the. the and being being and being and being influenced by the media of 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 a of a perfect smile, we should really we should really be happy in our own skin, in our own bodies, to say that you know, I'm going to smile regardless of the cost. I'm going to smile regard regardless of the the turmoil I'm going through, or whatever situation or circumstance I'm going through. I'm going to smile anyway. Yeah, so. That's mm. I'm pausing because it's time to go. So yeah, I think that's 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 all I have to say in this video. So God bless, and let's just pray before we go. Uh, Heavenly Father, thank you for you. you uh, thank you, Father, for past, present, and future. Thank you that you're able to move in our situations from past, present, and future. Pray your he pray your healing for pray your healing virtual will will be on up be upon us, O oh God. I pray pray strengthen us each and every day, O oh Lord. I plead the blood of Jesus Christ on our bodies, Father, for healing and restoration. Pray anointing will fall upon us, Father. Renew, renew our minds and hearts, O oh God, for what is a perfect smile, and what it and what is and what for, for, from what is what is what is what is what is is supposed to be the norm which is there is no such thing as a norm normal really but i pray you help us to understand these situations and the and this and this and this and this thing we have about perfect smile or smiles father i pray not to fall upon our situation and i plead by jesus christ in our situation for healing and restoration in our bodies father in jesus name we pray amen so god bless you guys and gals take care peace